Oh, hey home skillet. Welcome back to Library Macabre. One second, please. Today we're gonna to be talking about something that I am super excited for and something that I'm sure all of you have been looking forward to as well. And that is old school April, the epic readathon, watchathon, to do a thon that is hosted by Kelsey from Slime and Slashers. Kelsey also has a whole bunch of co hosts, and this year I have joined on as a co host. So today we're going to be going over old school April, and you can decide if you want to join, which I highly recommend that you do because it is a whole lot of fun. This is a huge event, and it really brings the community together every single year. So if you don't get in on it, I think you're really missing out. And this is something that I feel very genuinely about because I don't do readathons. I just don't. I'm not really into them. It's not my thing. But old school April is a totally different ball game. I love old school April so much. It gives me something to look forward to every single year. It's just a whole month of fun and getting to focus on things that I love, things that are very nostalgic for me and very important to me as a person because I love nostalgic books. I love Goosebumps and Fear Street and Point Horror and Babysitter's Club and Sweet Valley and Nancy Drew and Hardy Boys and I can keep going on and on because these are the books that I grew up with and the books that I still love to read even as a 31 year old. And if I could just spend a whole month just reading these kinds of books and watching these kinds of movies that I grew up on, then yes, I am all there. Another thing that I love about Old School April is that it's right at the beginning of spring when nature starts to come alive. The world starts to come alive. People start to go outside more and go hiking or go to parks. And then you've got Old School April, which just feeds my soul. It makes me feel even happier. Like I am waking up from a long slumber. It's exactly what I need at just the right time to make me feel like, okay, I can really start off the year officially. Because until now, I've just been freezing in bed. So this is much better. So old school April. Anybody can participate. You can participate if you love to read retro books, watch retro movies, listen to retro music, do retro activities, all of those things, or you can pick and choose what you want to do. And not only do you get to do all of those fun things, but there are also a bunch of prompts to help you along the way. Special activities that Kelsey is hosting on her channel and on the Discord. Just all kinds of fun activities that I'm gonna be joining in on and you can join in on as well. And we can all do this together as a team. If you would like to sign up for this event, you can access the Google form down below in the Google Drive. It's super easy. You just Enter your name and which team you want to join. Which leads me to the next point. The theme of Old School April this year is Legends of the Hidden Temple, which is an old Nickelodeon game show that was really popular. Which means that we have teams for Old School April. So there are the Silver Snakes, Purple Parrots, and the Blue Barracudas, which is my team. My teammates and co-hosts are Alex the Bookubus, Andrew from It Came From The Page, Elizabeth Sagewood and Kelsey from Slime and Slashers, the creator of Old School April. If you would like to join my team, the Blue Barracudas, you can. You can sign up down below or you can join any of the other groups. It doesn't matter what team you join. This isn't really a competitive thing. It's just a good fun. There is also merch for Old School April. This is my Old School April shirt and I love it. It is so cool. It has such a cute design. You can get this in various different colors. As soon as this shirt was available, I ordered it right away. I was so excited to get my Old School April shirt because the design is just awesome. You can also join the Old School April Discord, which is going to have a lot of fun things. Like I'm not uh, super familiar with Discord myself. I only just recently made one to join in on a watch party. It's like the only time I've ever used it, but I'm going to try to get on it a little bit more and figure it out because Kelsey is going to be hosting all kinds of fun activities on her Discord all throughout Old School April. There's going to be watch parties, activity nights, reading sprints, game night, a DJ night. There's even going to be a slumber party, which I think is going to be a blast. I can't wait to join in on that. So if you want to join the Discord, you can. It sounds like it's going to be all that and a bag of chips. Now on to the best part of a readathon, watchathon, and that is 
the prompts, of course. There are separate prompts for all three categories, and that's reading, watching, and activities. Each prompt is worth at least one temple pendant, which is a point. And you can actually read a single book that fulfills multiple prompts, so you can really start to rack up those points for your team. So you're probably asking, how do you track all your points? Well, there are gonna be forms down below in the Google Drive where you can track your progress. I think we're really recommending that maybe you wait toward the end of the readathon to enter all of your points. That might be a little bit easier, but there are printables down below where you can you know, print out a tracker and kind of fill out your form as you go to help you keep track of what you're doing. The winning team will get to choose the theme next year for Old School April. Every year it's a different thing. Who knows what it's gonna be next year? It could be a Goosebumps theme. It could be anything. I don't really care what it is. I'm just having a fun time no matter what. Now we're gonna go over some of the prompts that I am interested in. So like I said, there are three different categories categories for this and I actually have some printables here so this this is this is so cute <laughs> I love this so much Kelsey made these and they are freaking awesome so this here is of course made to look like a library checkout card and these are the prompts for the readathon portion of old school april so you have three different pages with all of the different prompts there's a lot here i have not decided which prompts i'm going to use to build my tbr i think what i might do at the start of april is post a video of me shopping my shelves and trying to decide what i want to read that fulfills these prompts like for instance there's pretty in pink a book with a color in the title or the Goonies, read a middle grade or YA book. There's read a book set around Halloween, which we all know I love Halloween, <laughs> to say the least. A book about books or about writers. There's read a Goosebumps book. There's read a point horror, Christopher Pike, Fear Street book. Read a nostalgic magazine. Like there's so many prompts here and they all sound like a lot of fun. I'm not gonna be able to do every single one of these obviously, but I'm gonna try to build a nice little TBR centered all around these. So I'm excited to shop my shelves and pick out a nice stack of books. And because this isn't just a readathon, this is also a watchathon, we have the old school April movie and TV show prompts, and it's made to look like a TV guide. So there's uh, number one, TV guide, watch any nostalgic show released before 2005, watch an animated movie, watch a movie set in a mall, Nightmare on Elm Street, watch a slasher movie or a movie that could give you nightmares, all kinds of fun watching prompts. Now, when it comes to movies, I'm mostly gonna be like mood watching. And that's another point is that you can actually mood read all through the month of April and then match up your reads to the prompts and see how they fit. You could do that after the fact. And then we also have the activity prompts here that go along hand in hand with the reading and the watchathon. And it's made to look like a uh, now CD playlist. <laughs> this whole event was made for me, basically. You can participate in the Six Sad April on Instagram, which is like a nostalgic Instagram challenge. There's Easy Bake Oven, make a nostalgia themed recipe. No girls allowed, build a pillow or blanket fort and take a pic inside of it. I'm totally gonna be doing that. I think I might build a fort here in the library. That could be really fun and I could make a video about it. So that's something we might do together. Lots of fun prompts. I'm gonna do as many of these as I can throughout the whole month because I wanna get as many points as I can for my team. Also, as a host of Old School April, that meant that I got to pick out some host recommendations specifically for you guys if you want to read these books or watch these movies they will give you some extra points so for my movies i chose everything is terrible the movie you can access this on tubi i believe it's also on youtube this is not technically a movie this is a mashup of a bunch of vintage and uh, retro clips children's programming tv shows anything old school that's kind of funny it, it puts it all together and this really funny compilation of just clips and craziness for instance if you like the kazoo kid then you're gonna love Everything is Terrible, it's made for you. My other movie wreck is Night of the Demons 2. Now, a lot of people have seen Night of the Demons. It's kind of a cult horror classic, kind of. It is, it is a cult horror classic. And if you haven't seen it, you really should watch that first. But not a lot of people have seen Night of the Demons 2. I saw it recently and loved it and I want more people to see it so if you've seen Night of the Demons and you want to watch Night of the Demons 2 do it it's a wild ride 
<laughs> don't take it seriously. But if you want more of a horror comedy, something that's just really, really campy, it's perfect. And I have host book recommendations as well. My first one here is Frankie Graves by Cameron Rubik. Those books are a slasher duology, so they tell one continuing story. The first book is set in the 1950s, the second book is set in the 80s. And what they have in common is a character named Frankie Graves, who is your antagonist. And it's just such a badass book. My second recommendation, and I can't really get to my copy right now because I have stacks of books in front of it and I, I just can't reach it. That is Paperbacks from Hell by Grady Hendrix. This is one of my favorite books of all time. Paperbacks from Hell is a non-fiction book chronicling the history of vintage horror paperbacks. If you love the kinds of books that I show on my channel, for one, you've probably already read Paperbacks from Hell, but if you haven't, now is your chance to do it and really rack up some points for your team. So those are my host recommendations. Those are the prompts. That's pretty much everything you need to know about Old School April. But of course, if you really want to get into the nitty gritty of it and find out even more, I'm going to link Kelsey's video down below. Her video is like 50 minutes long and goes really, really deep into Old School April. And she's going to be posting other videos that show you how to fill out certain forms and to help you along. So if you have not subscribed to Kelsey at Slime and slashers what are you doing i've told you so many times go subscribe her channel is amazing and you will love her videos i promise and of course don't forget to sign up for old school april down below just tell us your name and what team you would like to join and if you want merch don't forget to go order it. I am going to be trying as hard as possible to do as many videos in Old School April as possible. I wanna keep you guys up to date with what I'm reading, what I'm watching, do book and movie reviews. I'm gonna try to do as many nostalgia themed videos as I can. So if you're interested in that, uh, stay tuned. There's gonna be a lot. Thank you creeps so much for watching. Don't forget to sign up and I will see you in the next video. Later creeps.